Dear students, welcome to the new chapter Commands in QBasic. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to open QBasic, the QBasic commands. We'll start with few simple QBasic programs, how to save the program and how to exit from QBasic. So dear students, this is the desktop. Now here you'll find, if you have installed QB64, you'll find a QB64 shortcut. Double click it. QB64 screen opens. Now, this is the main screen where we are going to do all the things. This is the title bar. Here you are going to see the menus, that is the menu bar, having file, edit, view, search, run, option. This is the name of the particular file which you are going to save. It will appear here once you save the file. This is your program window where you are going to type the commands. This is the immediate window which you will see later on. And also, this is also known as the status. Here's the status bar. So we'll see this, how to work with this QB64 or QB window. Now we are going to see some important QB commands. First command is CLS. It is used to clear the screen. It is generally used as the first line in a computer program. In this way, whether the program is run, whenever the program runs, it always starts with a blank screen. The syntax is only to type CLS. Next is LEC. It is used to assign constant to variables. During the running of the program, the user cannot change the value assigned using the LET command. So the syntax is like this, let age is equal to 18 or let name dollar is equal to QBasic. Now here, the let is an optional command. If you don't use the let and if you directly assign value like age is equal to 18, then it is acceptable. Now age and name dollar are the variables. So these value of these variables you can change while running the program. To make our program interactive, we have the next command known as the input command. It is used to obtain values for variables from the user. During the running of program, the computer takes the value from the user by displaying a question mark on the screen. When the user gives a suitable value for it and press the enter key, the execution of the program continues. The syntax is input then write the variable thus age age is a numeric variable and the next one input name dollar since dollar is there at the end of the variable name so this is a alphanumeric or string variable next is the print command it is used to display the result on the screen now there are many ways we can use the print command the first if you want to display content of a constant or variable, then the print command is followed by that constant or variable. Example, print age. It will display the value which is stored in age. Or we can also write print 5 plus 8. 
the print to print the result of 5 plus 8 that is 13. Next, if you want the computer to display something as it is, it is put in double quotes after the print command. For example, here the syntax is print, q basic is fun. So it will display only q basic is fun. The third way to use the print command is if you enter only print, a blank line will be displayed. This you will see in the example or when, I, when we are going to do the programming. Next, we can also display two or more things in a single line by adding a comma or a semicolon between them in the print command. So let us see the use of semicolon and a comma. If you use a semicolon, the next thing will be displayed in the same line after a single space for numeric data or no space for string data. See the syntax here, print my age is. Then this my age is within double quotes. It means it is a message or it is a string and 13. So the output will be my age is one space. See it is a numeric data. So there is a one space and 13. Next is print my name is Alok. Now here my name is of course the string and also Alok is also a string and there is semicolon. So the output my name is Alok. Here there is no space. Next if you use a comma the two things will be displayed in the same line with many spaces between them. For example print my name is Alok. See the output. My name is space Alok. We are going to see this now. So dear students, let us see how to write program here. And I'm going to explain just now that we have gone through. So first is CLS. Next is I'm writing age equal to 18 as it is there in the book then name dollar it is shift 4 dollar sign is equal to say it is written q basic double quotes is shift near the enter near the enter key next is okay first i will write page print age then i write print 5 plus 8 then i write print then i write print q basic is fun print q basic is Fun. Then I write input age Then I write print Now we'll see the use of colon, semicolon, and the comma. My age is so I'm giving here the semicolon age. Then I'm leaving okay, I'm giving print. The next was my name is Alok my name is then semicolon then alloc then it is the use of comma operator now comma print
my name is so I'm using the comma now alok print my age is comma age oh here i have given see whenever you make a mistake here i forgot to mistyped double quotes with that therefore column therefore it is showing me the error message so in this this is a interpreter that means it is checking line by line if in any line there is a mistake it will show you the error okay i can i will write one more command that is input enter your you can write the input command like this also you can give a message enter your enter your name comma name dollar so now end so i'm going to end the program you can run it without saving it go here click run or you can press f5 just wait so see here it is 18 print age 18 print 5 plus a 13 then there is a gap because it's a print then print q basic is fun here it is q basic is fun input age since there is an input there is a question mark and it is waiting for the input from the user so i am writing say 15 after that you see my age is there's a gap 15 my name is there is no space my name is see the space here how much space because there is a comma similarly here my age is there's a space because i have given comma and here my age is in the first one my age is there is a semicolon therefore there is only one space now it is saying to give you to enter your name so i'm writing say alok so it is waiting for me to enter now and press the enter key so it ends now press any key to continue this now you can go here go to file and you can save you can save in a particular directory you can go so i'm saving it here say first enter so see here in the name it is first the bash the extension of qbasic is dot bas i hope you understood this so let me stop it now the last command which we are going to see is the end command it tells the computer the program is over whatever written after the end command is not read and executed by the computer the syntax is simply end it is good to write end command at the end of the program so let's start with the activity which is in the page number 117 so go to file new so i'm tapping cls okay let me okay i will not tap cls and then see what happens not tapping cls for the time being i'm simply writing input enter your name enter your name then comma a dollar then i'll type print print hi i'm purposely leaving a space here and i'm using a semicolon so that while 
the output there will be one space here since with semicolon there is there will be no space a dollar then welcome welcome to the world of qbasic then end so let me run it i will press f5 so here it is asking me to enter my name so i am tapping my name say deepak enter now in this it has cleaned the screen by itself but it is good to write cls so press any key to continue okay we'll do the next one file new if you want to save you can save but for timing i'm not saving it so the next program is to calculate the area of a rectangle so cls then input enter length i'm tapping short enter length comma l input in class 5 we have seen Now we have learned about algorithm and flowchart. For writing program, it is good that you can write an algorithm first, and based on that algorithm, you can convert that algorithm into a program. Now, since you know the programming language, that is QBasic, you write the commands or the syntax of the QBasic, then which you can convert it into. a particular programming or a program in qbasic so into is star mark here so done print area of the it is good to give the comments like this so that the user will know what actually is the output similarly for the input it is good to write the comments there so the user will know that what actually he or she have to enter so now you can run the program run or you can directly press f5 start <coughs> so enter length c 12 Enter breath. Say ten. Enter. So in this way, we can write a small programs. We will see the concept of programming in the next class. So, dear students, I hope you have enjoyed this particular class. I will suggest you to go through the algorithm and flowchart concept of class five. If you want you can search in the net or I can provide you the videos that I made for class 5 or you can open the class 5 portal and you can get the videos for of algorithm flowchart Once you open you can try to write the particular programs for the given question that we have discussed in that video So in the next class we are going to see in detail how to write a little bit of concrete programs plus we are we will also go a little bit further with the if else condition so till then enjoy so thanks for your patience hearing have a nice time see you in the next class